beautiful leaf bench. Great place to come look for shells, bring your kids. Have a nice day. Beautiful area, nice leaf bench to, to uh, tide pool on. It's low tide coming up to high tide. Earlier this place was just completely flat. There's another shell there. See what that is. Uh, another droop. This one they call the mulberry droop. Uh, Marula granularis, I believe. Put that back. And see, look, there's another one right there that is next to. That was the mate. Cool. Mordes droopa granularis. See that? These are jet black shells. One of the most beautiful shells if you properly clean them. One there, one there, one there, one there, whole bunch there, neighbor over here. Even though the shows are common, what's hard is to get one that's perfectly clean. They, they always seem to be encrusted. We have some patellas, which are known as opikis in Hawaii. Uh, delicious delicacy raw. Nice to see these out here. These are Narita PCS, endemic to Hawaii. Always above the title mark. Quite prolific. Some big Narites, the Narita PCS. Good size of Piki there, Patella sandwichiness. Very good delicacy here. Okay, we have some kind of shell hiding over here. Oh! Well, there was a fish next to it. That is a Peristernia chlorostoma. Put you back. Alrighty. Got a mystery shell here. Don't know what that is. Let's see. And it's just a piece of coral. But there is something we do know. That is a the Hawaiian turban shell, which is endemic here. Turbo sandwich it is, just laying on the reef. And that's a dead one. So there's probably a hermit crab in there. We'll put him in a little rockier place here for him. Alrighty. Oh, I got some shells on the reef here. What do we have? I'll oh, get that cat out of the way. That's uh, Drupa Resinus. And there's something else next to it. Right there. Pick that up. Another Jupa resinus. Alright. That is a conus hebraeus, otherwise commonly known as the Hebrew cone. They, it's in a little hole in the reef, that way the swell action won't knock it off. You can see it right there. Let me pull it out. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful pattern on that. So, but it does have a growth line there. Put that back. Typically put, you don't want to touch the skinny end because that's where the stinging apparatus comes out. Um, see right there, the, the skinny end? You don't want to put your fingers anywhere near that because this uh, cone, other cone shells have produced human fatalities. So, we'll put this one back. There you go. Okay, there's a cone shell right there. Always pick it up from the fat end. See what this is. Oh, that's a conus ratus, commonly call, called the rat cone. The animal's always green on this one, as you can see. So we just go put him back. That's what he looks like in the wild. That there is the common snakehead curry in Hawaii. This is a Hawaiian form called Capi Tufaidi. You can see it over there. It's, he's happily on the reef where we're gonna leave him. At nighttime they come out in the open and they're all over the place. 